put it on. It's fucking this. Wear a fucking bathroom. What? All right, so in case you're confused at what happened, some young ladies were walking on the street. This man gave one of them a compliment, and I'm guessing he didn't like her response, and then he went off on a rant. Don't look at me like that. Respect your place. You guys are women. I put all these things in my trunk, and everybody will look at your forensic files the next day. Hold on, I don't know if y'all heard that. This man said, I'll put all y'all B-words in my trunk and they'll find y'all on forensics files the next day. That's crazy. And my grandmoms was better than these bitches. And all you men out here not saying shit and just letting them talk is crazy. What you mean? What you mean? Hold on, bro. That bothered me. Yo, let me tell y'all something, right? If a man is going off on you, you just expect strangers to just protect you? Now, I ain't going to sit there and let, let a dude kill you or nothing like that, but I'm not finna jump in y'all argument. I'm going to stand there like all the men are doing. Make sure you good. Besides that, I'm not finna stop him from going off. It's, he can freely speak his mind. Okay, even though the stuff he's saying is BS. Some, he's protecting his girl. Look at you. And you got locked up. Look at you. Dumbass bitch. Damn. Now you, don't do that. Now you got mouth because he got locked up. Like, come on. He literally did this to himself. We asked him to walk away so many times. He followed us back up because the line was way back here. We walked past him, and he came back up to continue going at us. And the only reason he redirected his energy is when they came. But it was like walking behind us, getting more, getting himself more hype. What's that going on? Oh, yeah, there's a light there. Dudes that do that, y'all make me sick. I'm going to be real with you, bro. You make me sick, bro. Mm. That's like when you try to holler at a chick and she's like, oh, nah, I'm, I'm not interested. I'm good. I'm good. And then the mother come out and say, well, f*** you then, bitch. You don't look that good anyway. Because you and your feelings. 
When you give somebody a compliment, you run the risk of not liking how she responds to your compliment. It's kind of like when you hold the door for somebody and they don't say thank you. What you going to do? Push him back outside? He made, he did all that for no reason, but I'm glad I'm glad this video came up because I did the whole Kiki Palmer joint, and I ain't gonna lie, bro. I lost a lot of subscribers based on what I said about Kiki Palmer, and it's cool. I understand. Y'all be back. They'll be back. It's always like that. It's kind of a messed up world we living in where you can't wear what you want to wear, but at the same time, you shouldn't wear what you want to wear. The same media that y'all are running to and y'all are trying to make dudes feel bad and say dudes are controlling and narcissistic and all that is the same media that sexualize y'all. You look all over social media, all you see is cheeks. All you see is, is booty meat. Shit is just hypersexual, bro. Like everything is about sex. So once you start walking the street and you wearing whatever you want to wear, it's dudes out here that just, damn, I like that. Like some, some, <sighs> It's some men out here that can't control themselves. It's some men out here that's not gonna take no for an answer. It's some men out here that's not gonna care that you're wearing something sexy and you with your man. All they see is skin and they don't know boundaries. So sometimes when your man is telling you, hey, you know what? I don't feel comfortable with you wearing that. A lot of times it's not because of jealousy. A lot of times it's like, I don't want you to get that type of attention from the wrong person and I can't protect you. And I know y'all might think it's BS, but I've had this conversation with my wife before. My wife only wears certain things when she's with me. She doesn't wear it when she go out by herself. She doesn't wear it when she go out with her homegirls. She doesn't do that. She might wear it, and even with that, she doesn't cross certain boundaries where like she's not gonna wear nothing with the cheeks out. She's not gonna do that. She might wear something that accentuates her shape. When she wears these sexy things, these somewhat revealing things, she wears it when she's with me. And that's because she's been in situations similar to this. Okay, similar to this, where a guy's trying to holler. She's like, no, I'm not interested. And then he get to going crazy. Or he get to acting creepy. The flip side to that is, yes, it's men out here that's going to see you. And the more skin you show, the less respect a lot of men have for you. The more skin you show, the less respect men have for you. Now, when I say respect, meaning that you just look like a, a sexual object to them. Your man don't want you to be a sexual object. I don't want nobody else sexualizing you. I don't want nobody else sexualizing you. It's crazy that y'all think that shit is controlling, man. That shit is not, it's not controlling. Like, it's the truth. It's the truth. Like, I wish that some women could walk around for a month in a man's body like if you and your man could switch places for one month, I wish y'all, I wish it it can be possible, just so you can experience how, how crazy it is. To be on the opposite end of having a good, a beautiful woman, it is very hard to be in a relationship with a beautiful woman. It is very hard. Like it's a lot of things that you have to, that you know is coming. Or you notice that you have to just let go. It's a lot of disrespect. It's a lot of just weird. Like, perfect example. Today, me and my wife went to the gym. My wife had on some leggings. And I'm not going to lie. My wife has a very, she has a fat ass, okay? If I might say so myself. You feel me? And so we went to the gym. Um, we lift some weights. Did some legs. And I had to do some chest. So while I'm doing chest, she decided she's going to get on the, on the, um, the treadmill. Now, usually we work out, do the weightlifting, and then we get on the Stairmaster. Like, that's our thing. We end our workouts with the Stairmaster. There's two Stairmasters in that gym, and they're right next to each other. But today, I had to do chess, so she decided to get on the treadmill until I was ready to get on the Stairmaster. The treadmill is right in front of the two Stairmasters that we usually get on. Okay? Giving y'all a description of the setting. I'm done doing my chess. I'm walking around. I get on the Stairmaster I usually get on, and I'm waiting for her to get on the one that she usually get on. 
old head. He not even that old. He probably about 40. Comes in and gets on the Stairmaster that she was supposed to get on. I knew why he got on the Stairmaster. Because the whole time, I'm, I'm looking at him. She's running on the treadmill hills right behind her. Staring, staring directly at her cheeks. Couldn't help himself. On the Stairmaster. And I'm just looking at him. I decided to go. I worked out next to him. This man was on the Stairmaster for about three minutes. Messed up our whole situation, but he was on the Stairmaster for about three minutes. He got enough of the cheeks, then he was gone. While she was still in the gym on the treadmill, another guy walks past. Now, mind you, me and her been working out this whole time. So, you know, I'm in there. I'm, you could tell we married. I'm in there helping her out, slapping her butt every time she did something good. I'm like, kiss her on the neck for some motivation. Seen that. I know he's seen that. He's seen her by herself on the treadmill. He was finna walk over there to say something. And then, like, I guess he finally see... He, he walked over there, and then he saw I was on the machine behind her. Did some weird shit, then bust a U-turn. And I'm like... So even though you saw me in here working out with my wife... You thought I was went out. You thought I went to the bathroom, or you thought I, I went wherever the fuck I went, and you was finna come and say something to her. When you're in a relationship, it's a lot of disrespect that you have to deal with from other men. I just want y'all to understand that women, ladies, when you're in a relationship, it's a lot of disrespect that you have to deal with when it comes to men. Okay. Other men do not care about us. They don't care about us. You carrying a conversation with a dude if he thinks he's, you're attractive, you can sit there and talk about me all you want. You could, oh, my husband, we've been married for, for seven years. You know, we have a beautiful son. I just love him so much. He does this, that, and the third for me. And he does YouTube. And he provides for us. And da, da, da. He don't. You think he, he don't care about that shit? He don't care about that. Throughout that conversation, he's looking for an opening. He's looking for a weakness. I think this is the best way to explain the whole, like, be careful what you wear when you're outside. Represent me well when, when you're outside with what you wear. Your woman is a castle. It's a fortress. Okay? When your woman is outside without you, without your protection, without your presence, without you guarding the front door, you want to make sure that that castle looks secure. When, you, when your woman is out here showing the cheeks, titties all out, pum pum print all out, acting available, expressing her sexiness to other men, that fortress looks like the security is weak. No man wants to live in a house where the security is weak. That's the best way to explain it. I'm I'm happy like I'm not in that type of situation. You feel me? Like my wife dead ass don't like she don't be feeling comfortable wearing certain things because she know the attention that it brings. It's not like she don't know the attention that it brings. It's like, if me and you both know the attention that a certain outfit brings, like, why would you still want to wear it? Like, why would you want to attract that type of attention? Because that type of attention could come, can come from somebody who doesn't play by the rules, who doesn't play fear. You feel me? It's a... I'm going to end it like this, right? I'm going to end it like this. It's a guy. He's actually in... He's actually locked up right now. I'm not going to call no name. But he used to be a big-time drug dealer. Okay? But he was also a killer. 
He's also a killer, bro. One day, this man was in traffic, and he seen this couple walking. The lady was wearing like a mini skirt. This was like in the nineties. Lady was wearing a mini skirt. She was sexy, walking with her man. He seen the lady. He was like, "Damn." He's attracted to her. Went over there, tried to talk to. Her. You know. Her man was like, "Hey, bro, like, relax. You know, this is my woman. Um, we're together." Looked at her man up and down was on some shit like, "You don't deserve her," and killed him. Shot him. It's dudes out here that, it's dudes out here that don't play by the by the rules, man. Anyway, bro, that's the video. Um, I did all that off of this one reaction, but I, I just think that shit is trash. You know, uh, the fact that he, he acted like that because they wasn't feeling him or the, she didn't respond the way he wanted her to respond to his compliment. <sighs> Freaking idiot, man.